To write the name for H3PO3, we use our flow chart here and the common ion table. We have H, P, and O. That means we have three different elements, and we'll use this side of our flow chart. We have H here in the front. That tells us it's an acid. And then we have this PO3. That's a polyatomic ion. And because H has a plus one charge, and we have three of them, that means this PO3 will have a minus three charge. So we're going to look this PO3, three minus, up on the common ion table. So as we scroll down the common ion table, we see our polyatomic anions. We have negative one, negative two, and we're looking negative three. And there we go, PO3, three minus. It's called the phosphite ion. So we need to remember phosphite and then go back to our flow chart. So we write phosphite. And when we look at our flow chart, we see if we have ITE at the ending, we're going to take the stem, that's this part right here, replace ITE with OUS. So we get rid of the ITE and we write OUS. Then we add the name acid and we're almost there. Phosphorus is an exception and we need to keep that OR in the stem. So it's not phosphorus acid, it's phosphorus acid. And that's the name for H3PO4, phosphorus acid. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.